Good day. We're going to be doing a basic uh, two-dimensional AutoCAD drawing and we're going to go through the basic setup process and create the linear oriented shape. Uh, you've already seen before I started the actual drawing that uh, you well that we're all going to create here. When you work on AutoCAD sometimes you close the screen or close the drawing out and this is the screen that you receive and I wanted to show you that you can get back to the drawing environment by picking the new sheet but it's going to ask you what template you want to use and you want to use the ACAD AutoCAD template and then choose open there's other templates you can choose and it'll be different menus or different uh, scales but the AutoCAD template is the base template that launches uh, the core product. Again, I don't like the grid, so we're going to go ahead and close the grid display off. I just use the pan, as we previously talked about, to move the XY up. That's going to be our starting spot. We're going to magnify this a little bit and work from there. kind of wants to move around a little bit. Setup. Basic setup is going to be drawing utilities, units. It'll be looking at a drawing. It's two decimal places. Uh, decimal degrees is whole units. We're going to be working in inches and it's going to be counterclockwise so we'll keep the rest of it the same. We're going to go ahead and choose the polar tracking. We'll right mouse click and choose settings. Under polar tracking, five degree increment angle, track orthogonally, absolute based by zero. Object snap setup is going to be endpoint, midpoint, center, perpendicular, so I turn the two middle on, intersection and extension. And lastly, we've got layers to set up. For our drawing today, we're going to create a new layer, one called object for object lines. We're going to create uh, one for dimensions because I will show you how to create a dimension. Our object lines are going to be you know, kind of like a brown and our dimensions will be purple. Line type is going to be continuous on both. Line weight for the object lines, we're going to kick it up to a 0.5 millimeter just like a mechanical pencil and we don't have any hidden lines or anything so we'll go ahead and close this and we'll begin our drawing by switching to the object layer. When we begin this drawing we're going to start in the lower uh, left hand corner and work our way around counterclockwise. So we're going to start with the line command. The first line that we're going to create is the horizontal line across the bottom which in this case is 7.50 so we pick a starting point which I've done and 7.50 can I get there probably not 6789 ooh I can if I'm really good and don't drink a lot of caffeine I can keep it at 7.5 but I could also just type it in 7.50 and hit the enter key and that guarantees that it's the exact distance that I need. The next vertical line that we have is three inches. And then we come in at 1.5 inches. And then we need to uh, work up 1.75 inches. So 1.75. And then again 1.5. Now you can see the process that I'm doing is that I'm just pointing and shooting. I'm going to stop right here and I'm going to add some dimensions so you can follow along. And these are just temporary. So that way you have an idea of exactly how far we're creating objects. By the way, all the horizontal lines are 
So I'm going to go, oh, did you notice that I put them on the wrong layer? If I pick them and right mouse click, I can change the quick properties, but even faster, I can just, instead of right mouse clicking, I can just go up and pick them, hit the drop down, and choose dimension, and they'll move to my dimension layer. It's a real quick way to get things to change. And to get rid of the blue dots, I hit the escape key, and the blue dots go away. Those are called grips. So this gives you an idea of the dimensions. Let me finish out the rest of the distances here. This one needs to be 3.25 down, 1.5 horizontal, and 3.25 straight up, and 1.5 horizontal, and this one's going to be 1.75 down, 1.5 horizontal, and they better connect with a really nice straight line here at the bottom. To stop my drawing, I right mouse click, choose enter, and I've got my general shape. Hmm, I still have some dimensions that I need to put on. And, to, and I did the other ones really quickly, because I didn't want to necessarily go through the details of putting dimensions in. But here's the basics. When I choose linear, I can put dimensions on two different ways. The first way is by picking an endpoint, and by picking a second endpoint, I can create a dimension. Now the second way to do this is by picking linear, right mouse clicking, getting a selection box, and then picking the object. Now this doesn't look real good. This isn't a really good layout for dimensions. Okay, having one go through the other. So I could grip it, and I could grip this text and move the text down, and it's still not the best best option because I really shouldn't have the extension line coming through. So let me delete that and make sure that uh, what we do is technically correct so you don't get into a bad habit. But what I'll do is I will select that one. And we'll repeat from the endpoint here to the endpoint here. That will be good. That will give us a 3 inch dimension. I'll move this one up. Notice that I can pick any dimension, pick one of the blue boxes, and move it to where I want it to go. How do I change them again? Grip, grip, grip. Change the dimension. And here's a little, chip, here's a little tip. If I grip them and I right mouse click while in the grip, I can quickly change the precision to two decimal places. So if I grip, if I grip, 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 and grip that one, right mouse click, I can quickly change the precision to two decimal places. Now, a couple of other little minor things, and it's a little bit more advanced than where I wanted to go, but you'll notice that when I pick this, my grip point should technically be here and here. It shouldn't necessarily be here. And that's because I picked that entity and came across, so it drew a line. Notice that I now have a gap here. Well, the same thing should happen here. I should take this grip point, move it out to the end, so there's a little bit of a gap there. That's just good practice. Okay, and the same thing will have to happen here, and I might have two that I have to do it with. Nope, just one. Because I had selected that entity, and that created the overlap line. So the key is that you want to see the little gaps at the ends of each of the objects. So this is the easiest way for you to create your very first drawing. It's not a difficult drawing. It's not difficult throwing some dimensions on, and initially I don't grade the dimensions. It's just for practice. In a couple more weeks we're going to get into uh, detailed dimensioning information, and you'll have a lot more uh, associated with that and grading associated with dimensioning at that point. Have a great day.